guys and welcome back to TSPEC TV. Today I'm going to be installing a very simple mod, but one that can really smarten up the interior on your Defender. And that would be these corner protectors from ORE. The same guys that have made the front bumper and steering guard that I currently have on here. So it uses the same fantastic powder coating system that they have developed. So let's get inside the Defender to take a look at where these actually go. So these corner protectors fit to the outside edge of the seat boxes because as you can see here, a hole will start to form over time and that's only going to get worse and worse and eventually expose the seat box below. But we can easily fit these over the top with the four screws, two on each edge, which will give you a really, really nice finish and prevent that hole from tearing any further. And as I said in the intro, they use ORE's awesome powder coating system, which is really important for parts fitted to the exterior of the vehicle um, because they're exposed to the elements, of course. But it will also ensure that these on the interior stay looking this good. They don't fade uh, and they won't peel. If we look at my seat bases as an example you can see they've actually started to peel and there's a little bit of surface rust forming in them as well and that will not happen with these they will stay looking this good for as long as you need them to but the next step is to get the seats out so we can get to the inside of the seat boxes so we know what we're drilling into and also so we can put the nuts on later on unfortunately that means taking the entire uh, of the seats or both seats out uh, because unlike the standard ones we can't remove the bases <laughs> The seats are out so we can just double check we're definitely not drilling into anything important because we've got the storm tuning ECU down there and the battery on that side of course and then I've also just put the corner protector over the top and just poked the holes through this material so we know where to drill. So we've got the holes drilled and I have the fixings kit here, a little bag of uh, screws and nuts and things and as usual with RE they've thought about everything so included in here is two little wing nuts because the front lower corner on either seat box is quite awkward to reach into. Um, on this side you've got the battery and on that side you've got the tray which the ECU mounts on so you've got to really reach around uh, which means it's unlikely you're going to get any kind of tool down there. Um, so like I said they've included wing nuts uh, so that should make this process a lot easier otherwise uh, it's all been done properly, it's all stainless steel, we've got all the uh, screws and nuts we need here, so all we need to do now is get them on. So it seems like I have spoken too soon with what I said in the previous clip about the fixings because I've just done these two, the ones down below the ECU, and they are an absolute pain in the ass, or rather I should say hand, to get in. And you will need both wing nuts for those. It's not one per side. You need both of them for there. You're never going to get anything down there apart from your hand, and even my fairly small hands barely fit. So that was a really <laughs> fiddly job to do, but the rest should be easy hopefully I'm not jinxing it. it should be fairly easy because they're all pretty much open um, so I'm just going to crack on with those and then get back to you when it's done so to fast forward a bit the corner protectors are now in and for a change of scenery and to take some pictures we've come out to the forest the install process was a little bit more fiddly than I had hoped thanks to those uh, screws down by the the, in the corner by the ECU um, but thankfully the wing nuts are supplied with it otherwise I think it'd be more, more or less impossible to do that and uh, as usual a bit of perseverance and we got there in the end but that was rather fiddly otherwise pretty simple and uh, as usual ORE kind of over engineer things and think about things I think that other manufacturers don't like for example that the screws sit flush with the plate so that they don't stick out and damage your door card when you close the door um, like the fact that they've used their powder coating system, stainless steel fittings, the wing nuts, etc. Um, it is more than just a corner protector, and I think it actually really makes a big improvement to the interior, more so than I was really expecting, but it also, of course, has the functional purpose that it protects the corner on your seat box so that won't tear uh, anymore, as well as just looking great overall. So really, really happy with the product for something so small. Um, highly recommended 
even if your seat box hasn't started tearing yet, then get it on now before it does. Speaking of ORE products, I know some of you in the previous video were asking about my wheel carrier and where that has gone. That has been off for quite a while now. Um, I took it off sometime last year because I wanted to tidy up the cross member a bit and treat that and I just haven't got around to doing that or putting the wheel carrier back on. So there's nothing wrong with the wheel carrier. I absolutely love it and I will be getting it back on soon because the back end, uh, as usual, needs a bit of a tidy up. If you'd like to get yourself a set of these corner protectors, I believe they will be available on ORE's website sometime in February. Um, and if you follow our social media channels as well as ORE, of course, uh, then you will be the first to know when they are available to buy. And we also have some discount codes from ORE exclusive to you guys, TSPEC TV viewers, for you to get 5% off the corner protectors when they're available, but also the wide range of lights that ORE offers on their website. I can't remember the codes off the top of my head, but I'll put them up on the screen so you can use those to get 5% off. And one last thing before this video ends, I would like to say a big thank you for the very positive response that the previous video, which was the first video of 2021, got. I know a lot of you are keen to see a lot more content from us and more regular uploads, and that's what I'm really striving for this year, is to be more consistent uh, and really make a big push uh, with our videos. Um, as well as our show, social media channels this year. I think this could be a really big year for TSPEC TV, especially with some of the mods that are coming. I'm really, really excited. Um, I've got one that I've just ordered, which is, uh, I'm, I'm quite a different mod, you could say, but I'm really excited about it. Um, and then we've got other bits coming from ORE that I teased last time. We're doing a lot with those guys at the moment because they are just smashing out some amazing products. And yeah, it's fantastic to work with them and kind of see the behind the scenes of how these products are made uh, and also be able to give feedback um, about what we would like to see. So you've got a lot to be excited for this year uh, and uh, thank you so much for your continued support. We will see you in the next video.